Hi and good evening everyone. Dion here with the Turquoise Iris. Back again. We're back. Who's we? Who's we? So it's me. God, you missed that totally. I know you're on your phone, but I thought you were going to at least listen. Um, so we're back. Matt's decided to join me once again because that works out really well with him um, asking the questions and reading for you um, since I do have three different devices that I'm um, trying to read from. It makes it a little bit handy if he helps me out. So how are you guys? I hope you had a super duper Monday. Are you one that likes Mondays or are you one that despises Mondays? Or are you indifferent? Are you on YouTube? Are you indifferent? Mm -hmm. How do you like Mondays, Woods? I, I, I don't. Really? You don't really care for Mondays? No. You didn't want to get up this morning, did you? No, I didn't. I didn't sleep very well. Mm. That tea is too hot to drink. Woohoo! Mm. This is the first time I've put my tea in my Yeti. <laughs> All right, guys. Last night, we were on part two, and we added, sorry, a hair in the eyeball. We added copper. We added copper with the brayer. And then we added water, we let it drip just a little bit. And as you can see, the light picks it up and it's just a little bit of a shimmer, but it is a copper color. So the copper and the cobalt look really good together, but we're adding a transfer. So I ended up cutting the uh, Japonica. Am I saying it right? Yeah, the Japonica. It's 24 by 33 and it's full color and it is a transfer that you can apply on furniture. You can apply these on just about anything that you want to. Um, but I wanted to apply this one to, oh, here comes the more matte already. Already the hashtag more matte. Um, you just ordered it, Laura. Oh, fantastic. You're going to love it. Um, so I cut it up into three sections just so it was a little bit easier for me to handle um, in case I want to space it out. Um, I just kind of wanted to do it that way. It's a little bit easier for me, so I do cut them out. Um, so I cut up the first section, and this beautiful Japanese woman here, and I have her in this gorgeous dress. She's wearing a color that is very similar to the copper color, so I thought it would be a nice contrast. Now, up here on this transfer, you're going to see a lot of black and white and so one of you had suggested that I fill in the black and white flowers with some color and so I'm here for it I'm totally here for that idea so once we get it on there um, we'll see what we think but I'm just gonna work on this section today sometimes it just peels right off and other times it takes me 30 minutes it totally just depends I think it's a luck I don't know I think it's a luck so I'm just gonna get started um, the transfers are from iron orchid designs otherwise known as IOD. Um, anybody here? Yeah, you've got eight people on YouTube and 29 on Facebook. Okay, well, I hope everybody's having an awesome Monday. All I did was cut this up into sections and then I've just added a few little pieces of tape, just really tiny little pieces, just to kind of hold it in place for me. Um, give me just a moment and we will pull this the plastic backing off and we'll be able to see how beautiful this application has transferred onto this cobalt blue otherwise known as blue iris from diy paint which is one of our newest colors that we revealed in september available at reclaim warehouse in more oklahoma and at oh my goodness how many other retailers was 350 or something all over the US and Canada. Okay, it's coming off really well. So I'm gonna show you something, guys. What? 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 Said Matt. What? Yeah, look at that, Woods. Isn't that cool? It just transfers. It's pretty. Literally. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, it's pretty. I think that'd be so pretty with the blue. Uh, Vintage Sam. Yes, hi girl, she's yeah. here every day. Yeah, I know. Did you seal the paint with top coat before you put transfer on? I did not, and I'll tell you why. This copper is a golden patina. It's like a liquid patina. It serves as a top coat already, so I didn't need to add anything else because this already, um, it's a, it's a, it can be used as a top coat. That's why. But it has been 24 hours. 
Judy Brackett. Yep. Hey, girl. Uh, I have my white paper on my rolls. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> she said she asked, "How do you clean your roller? How how do you clean the roller you used up with the copper?" I just soak it in hot warm water with some Dawn soap and just soaking it in like two inches of water, trying to keep the metal out of it. That's all I do. All right, we're halfway done. You're gonna slow down if that's the only thing you're gonna do tonight. Well, maybe I'm just gonna be here for 10 minutes tonight, Woods. You like it, you wanna hang out longer? Well, you gotta, you gotta answer questions. Yeah, no, I could put up another section though, honey. I could put up the middle section. This is coming off like a breeze. I did see somebody trying in on the YouTube from Brazil. Oh, welcome from Brazil. That's pretty cool. I appreciate you being here tonight. I have, that was Abby, did y'all hear Abby? She just took a very, like we were interrupting her sleep. She just did this whole, you know. Uh, oh, hi, Monica. You used it too. This is so pretty. All of the new ones are, well, all of them are beautiful. But when I saw they had applied, like, you know, a virtual application of this transfer onto a piece of furniture I did a couple of years ago. And I thought, oh, I'm going to do that. But I'm going to do it with a brighter blue even. Okay, just this bottom drawer, guys, and then we're going to be done with this section. I'll pull it away, and you'll see how wonderful it is. Matt, you could probably even do this. Do you want to do the next section while I read comments? No, thank you. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm really trying to get this down before I move on to something else. Get this down? Uh, yeah. What down? Tammy on YouTube, what will you use over the... What will you use over the transfer to seal it? Oh, Big Top probably. Big Top is our clear patina. It's got a semi-gloss finish. It's lovely. All right, we're about to get this, you guys. Woo-wee. Woods, I think you should seriously do the next section. I'm seriously not. You're seriously not? Are you scared? I didn't, I, I didn't comb my hair. Oh, you just don't want to be on video. Yeah, I, I didn't prepare. <laughs> you need a haircut. <laughs> That's why. He needs a haircut, ladies. And guess who cuts his hair? It's me. Get a hat, Matt. Says Wendy Miller. Boom. Get a hat, Matt. Uh, Sherry Lash. Mm-hmm. Do you know where to get Gothic themed furniture transfer paper? I don't. Gothic themed. I'm not sure. What are you using to scrape the transfer? This is just a simple tool that comes with every transfer from Iron Orchid Designs. It's about as basic as it gets. It's just a little plastic, I don't know, how long is that? Five inches? And you just hold, I hold it with my finger like this and just, hey, it's the Matt and Dion show. Hi, Susie. Welcome back. Look at this, you guys. So I went over the drawers and so I just have to take, I literally, guys, I take my fingernail and I cut it right there where the drawers are. Now I'm not going to do anything else to this and for another 24 hours. I want to make sure it's just on there really well and it adheres really well. You could even put some colors. I could definitely add color to it, which is what I'm going to do when I put the black and white on. I'm going to add some of this mermaid tail and even some of the Monet's garden probably. I'm probably going to antique this piece with some of the dark and decrepit. Ooh, I can do all kinds of things. Oh, I love it. So see, that was really, really simple. So we have a, a middle section and then we have the far section. So if you want to, we can hang up the next section. Anybody want to or you want to cut it off right now? Are we done here? All right. Guys. Um, Robin Harrison on YouTube. Can you, can you, or have you ever used 
Decoupage style to add flowers or patterns. Decoupage style to add. Hmm, have I ever done that? Uh, yes, I have. So a few years ago, I was printing my own artwork on a site called Spoonflower, which is still out there, still amazing. Um, I was taking that, my artwork, and uploading it to their website and turning it into paper. And then I was ordering the paper and then I would take the paper and adhere it, decoupage it basically onto my furniture. I would sand it, distress it, and then I would have my own artwork on my own pieces of furniture. I haven't done that in a long time because I need help from somebody else to help me with that. <laughs> but thank you. Okay, keep going, says Shaz. All right, I will. Let me adhere this. She's got a bird. I love it. I guess you got to get it lined up. So you have to be patient with me. I didn't want to do... What are you do... doing? Huh? What are you doing? I'm doing the next section. You're going to have three sections? Uh-huh. I told you... I told everybody I cut it into three so it wouldn't be too big of a piece. Oh, I didn't pay attention. I know. Sorry about that. You have to pay attention, uh, Woods. Dana Newman. <clears throat> hi, Dana. Uh, she says, hi. Is this one transfer, or are you using several different transfers? This is one transfer, and it's called Japonica. It comes in this, whoopsies, hot tea. It comes in this tube from Iron Orchid Designs, okay? I cut it into three sections because it's easier for me to handle. Um all on a piece and I thought it would be easier for me to show you how to apply it and do that. So typically I will add a transfer and then I will also hand paint a design amongst it. So it's one of a kind and totally my own look. I'll use their transfers and then I'll hand paint the design as well. But on this piece I wanted to show you how I do the whole application of the transfer um, just so you could get a really good idea of how beautiful it looks by itself. And then I'll have to decide whether I want to add anything else to it or not. I'm sorry that you're seeing the reflection in the camera from the lighting. Uh, a. Oh, I want to mess this up. And she's on all the time. You think I would learn how to say her name? Is she on Insta? It, Where it, is she? She's on the YouTube's. The YouTube's. All right. Is there? Is there? Her. Uh, you know, <laughs> is it ever? <laughs> Hard for you to let go of a piece, or have you changed your mind after putting it up for sale? So yes, we put the we kept a piece. It's yellow, and it's in our house right now. And it was from Romania. It's a really old, old piece. Um, piece of it cracking. It's it's just it's so worn. The glass, the shelves are warped, and I love it. We both fell in love with it. But I had had it for sale for a few weeks, and we ended up moving it into our dining room. Here's the tool again. I've got it adhered here. Now, see where all these black and white flowers are? I'm gonna end up filling some color in there, I think. I'm gonna fill that in with my own colors. Um, but, oh, I love this. See, oh, this is so pretty. This will be really pretty right here, Woods. Are you sure you don't wanna try this to put a hat on? Yeah. I can I'm, teach you. I'm good. I just don't wanna steal the spotlight. You don't wanna steal the spotlight. This is your show. So, um, we ended up keeping that yellow piece and we still have it to this day. Um, both of us were very happy um, with it. So when I pulled the tape off earlier, Wendy Jackson, it did not, it did not pull it off at all. Um, a rainbow five hundred five on the YouTube. Can the transfers be used on fabric? I don't know. Can the transfers be used on fabric? I don't know. Okay. I don't know. What we have though, see what they have is they have stamps and then they offer an ink. So they have tons of different stamps uh, that you actually can stamp on fabric. Um, Debbie Beard of Debbie's Design Diary just released a brand new video of actually stamping her own craft paper and turned it into gift wrap. Um, and that turned out really beautiful. Uh, AJ says, yes, they can be used on fabric. AJ, what's the name of your YouTube channel, sis? Do you do some of it there? I, AJ has a YouTube channel called Fashion Toppings. Um, and she may have a video actually where she shows you how to do that. Yeah, I've got several, I've got several people on the Facebooks, Amy, Carrie, Judy, and uh, Trish Davis. Wow. Are, I think they're all saying yes. They've seen people put them on chairs, uh, fabric. Boom. So they will stick to fabric. 
I knew the stamps was, you know, an obvious selection, but I've never tried it with fabric, and I did not want to say that unless I tried it myself. AJ, if you have a video of that, feel free to put it down in the link so everybody else can see your video of you doing that, sister. Okay, we're going to get all this little black flower off here at the top. And then I'm going to skip down to the bottom because that just feels like the right thing to do. Uh, Dana Hutchinson, mm -hmm. hey, you know, where can I purchase that transfer? Um, you can go to any online retailer. They will ship it to you. But if you go to ironorchidesigns.com right now and scroll to um, find a retailer, you can either look at a brick and mortar or an online. So you can check your state. Where are you? Where are you? I'm in Oklahoma. You can find a retailer in Oklahoma and then, oh my goodness, at least half of them will ship them to you. Probably even the brick and mortars will ship to you. I actually am a retailer, but I don't know um, if I have any of this one left. And so I don't want to tell you that I can sell it to you. Um, I'll try and make a video next week. Oh, AJ, you don't have to do that. I mean, unless you want to, but I was just saying, if you had one, that would be amazing if you shared it. ironorchiddesigns.com is where you can find these transfers. They run, something like this is gonna run around $30 retail, um, just depending within a few dollars of that, either higher or lower, probably even 30 to 32. So it's a lot of impact for not that much money. Uh, Aubrey E. Uh -huh. on YouTube. Uh -huh. Are you doing any classes at your shop in December at all? Um, the only one I'm doing in December is going to be in Ohio. Um, and since it's Christmas time, I probably, I'm just doing the one workshop. Um, it's it's kind of hard to fill workshops in December. So we're just going to do the one in December next weekend on December 7th in Ohio. And I'm going to join forces with Debbie Beard, who actually owns the paint company DIY and Kelly Weiler of Girl Upcycled Studios. And we are going to put on a wonderful workshop for the ladies and gentlemen that are coming. We still have six tickets for sale though. Uh, Fiona D. Maris. Uh-huh, hi Fiona. Is, it, is there a limit to how many layers of chalk paint to do each day? Or do you need time between layers? Just need time between layers to let it dry. DIY dries really quickly, and so I can let two hours go by and then come back and do a next coat. Uh, Patricia Welch on the Facebook. Matt, please ask Deanna if DIY paint will do Black Friday specials. I am not aware of it. No, I'm not aware of it. I'm not aware of any. Now, individual retailers might be doing it, but not overall. Uh, DIY will let all of the retailers decide how and what they want to do. You're welcome, Fiona. Thanks for being here again tonight. All right, so let's get this one on. We're about halfway done. Actually, we're over halfway. I think you might be talking a little too much. You've been done by What'd you just say to me? Nothing. Respect, man. Respect. Just needs respect. I asked you to come help me. Uh, Robin Harris asked, have you worked with any other types of transfers? I've only used the Iron Orchid Designs one. These are the only ones I've ever used. They, um, as you can see, they work so well, and the designs are absolutely beautiful. I just don't have any reason to use, I'm kind of a, like I use just DIY paint. I love it. I don't see any reason to use anything else, and I'm the same way with the transfers. Uh, Sally and Josie are such wonderful women, and they've created a beautiful family-oriented business. Um, you know, between the two of them, they have, both have huge families, and I just, I love those ladies. 
I love what they stand for. And so as being a small business owner, I find a company that I really like and I want to support them as much as possible. Same with Paint Pixie too. Love Josie and Jerry. Mr. and Mrs. Paint Pixie. Sue so Windsor, have, uh -huh. have you ever used painter's tape to hold a transfer? That would probably have been a way better idea. I could have used that suggestion before tonight. Have you ever had any issue with uh, regular like scotch tape pulling? I, I and I'm not actually. I I used it on this and then I used it up here and it's it's not pulling off at all. But I can see why that would have been a concern. Painter's tape would have probably been better. Um, I I wish I thought of that. Since I'm usually hand painting, I don't really I don't use transfers a whole lot, even though I love them. And I cannot wait to paint inside this black and white mat. Do you love this? Look. Yeah. What? Yeah. Ooh, well, I'm going to paint that bird. Color the bird a little bit. I'm going to paint that bird water lily. I think you should do uh, old school. You think old school? That's gray. Not that I don't love that color. You're just being ornery. You don't think that. All right, we're just about done, guys. We're going to do the full reveal in just a moment. Abby is like snoring and she's moaning and groaning. It's like we're keeping her awake. I think she's dreaming. She must be dreaming. Sometimes she gets a, uh, she goes to sleep and starts like running in her dream. Does anybody else's dog run in their dreams and then whimper and like chase? Sounds like she's chasing a squirrel in her dream. All right, we're just about here. Drum roll, please. Oh, yeah, Sue. Okay. Oh, sorry, Eddie. I almost got you up. Oh, <laughs> you probably scared her. Oh, tell me when you're ready. Okay, just a second. Just want to make sure you're awake over there. Woods. Hey, is Debbie on here tonight? I have not seen the Debbie on here. The Debster. Oh. Ready? Ready. No, nope, it didn't pull any paint off. Ta-da! How pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna go cut all these lines with my little fingernail. But see all the black and white? Somebody suggested that, and I think it's a wonderful idea, but I just kind of fill in some of these petals. Yes? Yeah, it's good. I think so, it's a good idea. Kind of just a little bit of color to them, not much. Yeah, this is one of the brand new transfers, guys. These were just released last week. So um, if your retailer doesn't have these yet, don't fret. Your local retailer may have them soon. Uh, but if they don't have this one, I bet they have some of the other styles that have been around. One of my favorite ones is Morning mm. Glory. Is it Morning Glory? I don't know. What are we talking about? Hmm. I'm drawing a blank. It always happens when I'm on the on the camera. It's like something takes my words away. <laughs> How do you get it to not come off? Um, well, Vivian, it just it sticks. It's a transfer that um, it just adheres immediately to it. So yeah, I don't do anything to get it to stick. That's what the whole transferring is. It's it's pretty amazing. It's a wonderful. It allows you to feel like such an artist, too. All right, so there's that. Yeah, 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 I know. I love the copper with the blue, too. But we will be adding in some more colors. I think I will add just a little bit color. Probably even add in some, oh, sorry, Instagram. We will add in some golden ticket as well. Um, but the next piece, which we will do tomorrow, do I don't want to do it now. I just don't. Which this, one is it? This one. So we'll add that third image and then we'll just... You're doing the whole image? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I may actually cut off this. I may actually end up cutting this little section out and I'm taking this little group and just putting it on a side of the piece and wrapping one of the sides because 
Um, I'm not sure the whole flower, and I want to make sure. I love this flower so much. I'm not sure what it is. Tell me, someone, tell me what it is. Um, I feel like it may not. It may go too far over the edge, and I want to make sure it gets all on there. So, um, I may cut this section. Anyway, we're just going to play with it. But I will. I will come back for tomorrow. And what's tomorrow night? Uh, tomorrow's Tuesday. Tuesday. So the only night we won't be on is Wednesday night. We will not be on at 8.30, so we'll have to do an earlier... What about well, talk to me Tuesday? What time is that? Talk to me Tuesdays tomorrow at 8. At 8. Ooh. We won't be on tomorrow at 8.30 either. For Santhemum, that's what I thought. What time are you going to be on tomorrow? I don't know. Whenever you're available to help me. Probably, it'll probably be more like 7. Oh, we're going to come on at 7? You just need to make sure people know we're on at 7. Because the people in you know, the Brazils and the UKs and the Australias, they got a plan for it. Well, we can either come on before Talk To Me Tuesday or after Talk To Me Tuesday. You guys, we'll talk about that later. Um, but if I'm not here at 7 p.m. Central Time, then I will be on here at 9. Uh, because I do a special thing in my group um, at 8 o'clock Central Time on Tuesday nights. You guys, thanks for being here. This was fun. Look, easy. Anyone can do this. Anyone can do it. Um, Iron Orchid Designs, I will put the link for you all under the video on YouTube and on Facebook. So thanks so much. Have a wonderful rest of your evening and we'll catch you tomorrow. You gonna say bye? Oh, bye. See, come back, same mat time, same mat place. Same mat place.